The lymphatic system is a circulatory system within your body which does not have a heart to pump it. So you need to work this every day. Unfortunately, we don't move much and we don't know how to move our lymphatic system. So we end up with a lot of problems, a lot of health issues and a lot of toxins in our body which never get cleared, a lot of infections simply because we don't move our lymphatic system. So I'm going to teach you this today. Hi, my name is Ashwin. I'm the Himalayan Yogi and I'm going to teach you how in a few minutes of movement every day you can get your lymphatic system moving which is one of the major reasons for exercise. So make sure you have a non-slip surface and you keep your legs as wide as you can, okay? If this is all you can, then that's all you need to do. So just watch out, make sure you don't slip. I have a yoga mat below me, so I'm not going to slip, so I can go really wide. But if you're going to slip, then keep it narrow, if you have a slippery floor. Okay, get your hands up like this and clasp your hands together, like this. Clasp it together and send them up. And now just stay here for a while. Just staying here itself starts to circulate your lymph. Just staying here. Take a few breaths. Try to breathe in what is called the Ujjayi way. Okay, so it's a resistance breathing. Resist your own breath and make this sound when you breathe in. Now lock your knees, do not sway your hips, keep your hips locked too. Just move your upper body slowly. Even if you have a slip disc, you can do this. Just do it slowly. Do it to whatever level you can do it, okay? Make sure that you're not straining your lower back or any of the spinal vertebrae. Now go back again. And now the next time, once you've got the movement and you've understood how you should be Adjusting yourself so as to not lose your stability. Now let's do it with the breath. Exhale when you go down. Now you're right here. Inhale when you come up. This is called manthana. Go down. Inhale when you come up. Surprisingly, it starts to move lymph in your body. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. I have a long inhale, so I'm going slow, but if you have a shorter inhale, then go faster like this. Okay, depends on your um, capacity to breathe. Keep going. If you feel any pain in your lower back, you're doing it far too much, far too low. So just go this much. If this, if you're feeling pain in your lower back, just go this much. Okay. But if you're not, you can go all the way down, touch the floor, come up all the way. Use your breath. Keep your elbows straight. Elbow straight, knees straight, hips not swaying, hips stable. And that's it. You don't have to do more than that. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to teach you another method of moving the lymph. It's called Uttana. And uh, you can do this uh, with your... You okay? Ah. You can do this with your knees bent. Okay, so like this. It's going to pump up all of the fluid in your hip region. All of the lymphatic fluid here is going to get pumped with this movement. And you're letting it go up your spine, okay? So this is Uttana, it's just extension. If you've got a slip disc, please don't do this one. So what I'm going to do is, up this way, lock your knees, bend your upper body, go back, come down, back here. Naturally, inhale when you go up. 
Exhale as you come down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You should not feel strain in your lower back. You're only stretching the upper back. And that should be enough of Uthana. Now we'll do some sidewards Uthana. So put your hand here. One hand stays here. Inhale like this. Come back. Same side. Now switch hands. Knees absolutely straight when you go up. Make sure to go over your side. Your hand is going over your side. Your biceps will touch your ears and then come back down. Last one. So you just have to do five manthana and five of the uthanas, five each, and you've got you've achieved lymphatic circulation. So this is a very powerful way to do uh, to to clear uh, stored toxins, water soluble toxins in your body. Many people are overweight because they're holding lymphatic fluid in their body and they haven't moved enough to let that lymphatic fluid out. So. A lot of my clients lose a few kilos of weight when they start doing this because their lymphatic system has started its circulation again. It's very, very important for your overall health. Please practice it every day.